So I found this small HDMI converter on AliExpress and I thought it might be worth buying. The previous one was a bit too big. I've modified it to be smaller but I'm still waiting for the custom PCBs. In the meantime I wanted to try out some other options. This new converter is called WeStar and comes with 3.5 jack to composite cable. The very first thing I want to do is tear it down. I haven't even checked if it works yet. I just want to take a look how small it is first. Right off the bat you can see how compact it is. The board even as is would be perfect for my glasses. Of course I want to go even smaller. The seller lasered off the label from the IC but it's the exact same one as in previous one. You can also spot some PCB design similarities as well. The main difference in this module is that it has 3.5 jack soldered right into it. Here are both boards next to each other for size comparison. Both PCBs are untrimmed. The size difference really shows how much of unnecessary stuff there was on the first board. I can also show you how it compares to the trimmed down board. The new converter is still way smaller. And this is how it would look like if I'd mount both boards next to each other. The converter board is a bit too long but that's still a really nice low profile combo. Ok, so I've removed a lot of stuff from the PCB, USB jack and some capacitors were not needed. I've soldered my micro display to the trimmed boards to test if it still works. My camera is really bad right now so some stuff may not be properly visible. You can see here how I've soldered the display wires to the converter. Only 3 wires are required. I've connected both boards to my laptop so you can see that it really works. Right now it's displaying the blue windows wallpaper but it's not really visible. I've put on a spawn wave video so that you can better see the image. It's still really small but you can see that it works. There's also like zero latency so that's awesome. And that's all for today's video. As always, thanks for watching. This video was made possible by all of my Patreons. Many thanks for your continuous support. As always, there's still more stuff to make, so stay tuned for more.